Meanwhile, a Russian official has said that imports of all U.S. agricultural goods to Russia will be halted for a year. To learn how those sanctions will affect relations between Moscow and Washington, I am joined live now by John Griffin, a media contributor and a Republican official. Thanks for joining us, John. Um, do you think that blocking all American agricultural uh, imports to Russia will have a big impact on the U.S.? You know, I think in any case, sanctions are really symbolic, and American sanctions are not taken seriously by most of the world. They're ineffective, and it punishes consumers, and it punishes, uh, it punishes the, the little people more than anything else. Uh, so I, I would really like to see us de-escalate tensions over Ukraine. This is not an issue that the United States has any business examining. Uh, our interventionism has created much of the instability now experienced in Ukraine, and the United States has no direct interest. On the other hand, Russia has a very direct interest in protecting its energy pipeline and its energy security to the rest of Western Europe. Uh, I believe that it would be in the interest of all parties concerned to de-escalate and move away from sanctions, move away from anything that might lead to potential military conflict and come to the table and let's go ahead and find out how we can work, uh, work the Ukrainian situation uh, into the mutual interest of all the nations involved. Um, do you think that these, uh, these sanctions were a reasonable response to the sanctions that we, we saw from the West? And actually, perhaps before you answer that, d were they indeed expected or were they a surprise perhaps for you? Uh, like I said, sa sanctions are typically symbolic, but uh, the Russian response to the United States is certainly expected and proportionate. Uh, you know, I would go back to uh, the origins of this, this issue. Uh, the Ukraine uh, was, uh, the Ukrainian instability we are now witnessing was the result of U.S. actions uh, early on, going all the way back to the Orange Revolution. This, this interventionism has created a situation that threatens peace and security in the region, and Russia has had to respond. Uh, Russia's energy security interests in Ukraine are palpable, and if we had in the United States an uprising on our southern border, and we currently do, uh, our response would be very similar, I would, I would suggest, to that uh, currently, uh, currently being pursued by the Russian Federation. So I, I think these sanctions are both expected, they're proportionate, and we need to view this as a sign that it's time to come to the table and stop the nonsense. What do you make of um, the, the response coming out of the White House, which is that uh, this move is just going to further isolate Russia? Do you go along with that? No, I, I think that President Obama's foreign policy approach is viewed by many in the United States and abroad as, uh, as borderline insane. Uh, we have been pushing the world to the brink of disaster in Syria, in northern Africa, and now in Ukraine by pursuing a policy that is really about distracting American citizens, voters, from the disastrous domestic policies of this presidency and focusing them abroad. And this can only have disastrous results uh, and it needs to stop. So our own, uh, my own fellow countrymen would like to see a retreat from the types of uh, uh, saber rattling that we're now witnessing out of Washington. Okay, thanks so much for joining us uh, live from Texas. That's Republican official John Griffin, thank you.